Okay, let's start it. Primitive education can be thought of as the transmission of the values and accumulated knowledge of society. In this sense, it is equivalent to what social scientists term socialization or enculturation. Primitive education is designed to guide them and learn molding their behavior and the ways of adulthood and directing them toward the eventual rule in society. In the most in the most primitive cultures, there is often little formal learning, little of what one should ordinarily call school or classes or teachers. Instead, the entire environment and all activities are frequently viewed as school and classes and many or all adults act as teachers as societies grows more complex however the quantity of knowledge to be passed on from one another generation to the next become more than any one person can know and hence there must evolve more selective and efficient mean of cultural transmission the outcome is formal education the school and the specialist called the teacher the term education can be applied to primitive cultures only in the sense of enculturation which is the process of cultural transmission a primitive person whose culture is totally of his universe has a relatively fixed sense of cultural continuity and timelessness. The model of life is relatively static and absolute, and it is transmitted from one generation to another with little deviation. As for prehistoric education, it can only be inferred from educational practices in surviving primitive cultures. The purpose of primitive education is used to guide children to become good members of their tribe or band. There is a mark emphasis upon training for citizenship because primitive people are highly concerned with growth of individuals as tribal members because of variety and the countless thousands of primitive educations. It is difficult to describe any stands of uniform characteristics of purity education. Nevertheless, certain things are practiced commonly within cultures. Children actually participate in social process of adult activities. Primitive children, before reaching puberty, learning by doing and observing basic technical practices. Their teachers are not strangers, but rather their immediate community. In contrast to spontaneous and rather unregulated imi imitation and puberty education. Post-puberty education in some cultures is strictly standardized and regulated. The teaching personnel may consist of fully initiated men, often unknown to the initiate through they are his relatives in other clans. The initiation may begin with initiate being abruptly separated from his familial group and sent to the secluded camp where he joins other initiates. The purpose of this separation is to deflect the initiate's deep attachment away from his family and to establish his emotional and social encourage wider web of his culture. And lastly, the initiation curriculum does not usually include practical subjects. Rather, instead, it consists of whole set of cultural values like tribal religion, myth, philosophy, history, rituals, and other knowledge. Primitive people in some cultures regard the body of knowledge constituting the initiation curriculum as, as most essential to their tribal membership. 
Within this essential curriculum, religious instructions take the most prominent place.